Hey everybody, Scott here, back in the workshop. More improvements to the workshop. I went to Ikea yesterday to organize some stuff. Found this super cool unit with all the attachments and whatnot. Awesome. And this is just a complete aside. Uh, I've been seeing something like this for the digital units for a desktop stand. And I've been seeing them for like anywhere between 50 and $75. And if you go to Ikea near the checkout, you can get a Merville for $2.50. Get a pair of them. I probably should have gotten two because if you want to really evenly distribute the, the weight, you know, a pair of them is probably better than one. But honestly, for my, for my needs, a single one because I'm going to be using this later for, for shooting videos, demonstrating sounds with the quad cortex and stuff like that. But if you just want a desktop stand for it, come on, $2.50. Hit the Ikea. Uh, I'm back. More glitter because I didn't want to run out mid paint job. Can't do any painting today because it's too cold. 35 degrees when I woke up this morning in Kansas City. So I'll we'll painting until maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, depending on the weather. So I'm going to do an update on my workbox that I used on the Chicks Tour and show you what I had to do to it after uh, TSA did, did their job and did a real number on it. Um, it was, I try not to check it as luggage, but sometimes it's out of my hands and I just had to. So let's give it some power. Let's give it some juice, yo. You think of that? Power. Um, I, when I got back from New Zealand, everything on the top was just in shambles. The stuff inside had been all pulled out and they even tried to pull out the foam. How the fuck dare they? Because this foam was carefully cut by myself to fit all the tools that I need to do this job. It's not everything. Everything else fits in these little plastic bags with zippers on them that sit inside here along with a bunch of rags. Um, but this stuff had all been pulled out and see if you can guess which item is the most confiscated by TSA. Have a good look. Hmm? What are your thoughts? You might think it would be the pokey, pokey stuff, the pointy things. String stretcher. Stamp you with that. Uh, no. None of the pointy shit. I mean, tweezers, you know, are just tweezers. But this screwdriver was in there right here. This screwdriver. This was right here. And then my snips. But no. The double A powered Ernie Ball string winder. Three times they took one of these. Uh, the first two were, no, the first one was a battery powered one, double A battery. And they're saying, no power tools on a flight. It's not a fucking power tool. It's powered by batteries, idiots. And if you want to stop it, you couldn't hurt yourself with this if you wanted to. So they took that three times. One of the powered ones, one of the uh, built-in battery ones like this one. But uh, we happen to be rehearsing right next to the Ernie Ball uh, uh, headquarters in Burbank. And they gave me that one. So nice of them. So all is well with that. I also had to add this nice pad. I did this like a week and a half ago uh, to the top because the top was black. The top looked like, looked like this on both sides. So anytime I put, you know, take a screw out, you gotta have a flashlight to find it. So I wanted it to be easier to find things. Um, my neck rest is, I don't know where that is. I think it's downstairs. Hmm, what do I do? Uh, 
that's one of my favorite parts of the design, actually. But whatever. Um, yeah. The decibel meter slash thermometer barometer uh, came in very handy in Vegas. The room uh, humidity was between 12 and 15 percent. Just crazy. So we had to rig this this humidifier under the stage with a tube that went up Natalie's microphone and it misted her during the show because her throat was getting dry. You know, they're doing a two hour show every night. Well, three nights a week. But it was just, you know, that's a, that's dry. So we rigged that thing up, fixed that. Um, I got rid of the heavy tuner that I had in here before, put in this new canvas tuner, put in the uh, Spark Go by Positive Grid. It's a Bluetooth speaker and a guitar amplifier. It's awesome. I used it every day for listening to songs while I was changing strings. Kick ass. Uh, the iPad is literally just there as a clock. So, you know, that's, uh, that's all it's there for. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I have extra power available for, uh, I've got a little light that looks down at all my stuff. And uh, yeah. So two tuners, bare minimum, just in case one goes down. And, you know, and then I also carry around a pair of uh, TC clips. I think I have four of them now. I use these for everything, with the exception of the one guitar with an Evertune that I actually had to use that for. But the TC clip, best tuner ever. Love it. Now everything is nice and secure. I re uh, crazy glued everything to the Velcro that's on the back. So now nothing's going anywhere. In theory, I'm going to try and carry this on from now on. No more checking it. I'll just take out this, this, the anything that's pointy. I'll take out anything pointy and the, and this guy and, you know, blah, blah, blah. So that's what's up. That's the, uh, the work box survived a year on tour and uh, best investment ever, best creation for as a guitar tech traveling wise. It does everything I need it to do and all I need is a something to put it on top of. There's plenty of empty road cases so I just picked one and and uh, away it went. It's pretty kick-ass. So I will be back in the next few days with more painting of the uh, Variax. I need to have 55 degrees in the garage so I can paint, and then right now it's about 48 down there. So I don't want to mess anything up, and I'm ready to go. So I'll be back in a few days. Come on back. And until then, rock on.